Welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tricks with your favorite instructor, Instructor Shelton. Today, I have a guest. Yes, I have a guest. <laughs> Dr. Kalisha Walden. She is going to share her tip or trick for online instruction. So Dr. Kalisha Walden, introduce yourself and take it away. Good afternoon. Thank you for this invitation to share my tip and trick. Um, I am um, a college professor and I have been teaching online for over 10 years now. Um, and I also support other educators in um, different instructional design opportunities to really create courses that are effective um, for students. Um, so my tip would be in your online classes to really schedule check-ins. Um, usually um, a student that takes an online class will be one who, you know, wants flexibility in doing their work or wants flexibility in submitting assignments. But I have found that um, the students that I have supported in my online classes, they also want to be able to build and forge relationships with their professors. So I typically intentionally schedule check-ins with those students where maybe week one, I call five of them. Um, week two, I may call another five of them. Maybe week three, I start to see that maybe some of them aren't doing their work like they're supposed to or that they're not plugged in as they need to. So then I'll choose to call those students. So each week or on a bi-weekly basis, I check in with them to see, you know, how, how's everything going in the course? Um, if anything needs to be changed, um, what would it be and why? Or even how I, as a, um, a professor or an instructor can really support their learning and growth while they are taking the online class. And I've received, you know, many positive uh, results from that from students. That's wonderful. Yeah, these check-ins are sometimes like game changers because now, okay, the professor noticed I'm not doing what I need to do. Yeah. So now I, I need to that. up my game. <laughs> um, and so those opportunities have been game changers for my students. And it has also allowed me to feel connected with them because mm -hmm. it can... I, professors can sometimes feel, feel isolated from their students as well. So just um, calling them or sending them a quick text and arranging a time to meet um, has really helped them feel connected to me and me to them. Um, and even me being able to connect them to each other. Well, why don't you contact this student because this is their research project. Maybe they can give you some tips. Um, those conversations help me to do that. that. Um, as well as connecting them to any college resources. Um, oh, that's excellent. They, they really need that connectivity piece. And you know what? I'm glad you said that you will do like five one day and five the other day, because I was just going to ask you, how do you reach out to students in, in a class of 20 or 30? How do you reach out without becoming overwhelmed? But I'm glad <laughs> you pointed out that, you know, you don't try to do it all in one day but you do, you know, five here and another five here and another five here, you kind of spread it out so that it's not, you know, so overwhelming for you as a professor. Yeah, yeah. And like today I had a check-in with students. And so I sent them my Calendly link and I told them the times that I, the times I was available today and they just plugged it in and then we met via Zoom. Um, and these are fully online students. I mean, of course, my remote students, I do it as well. I just mm -hmm. do that inside of a class. So the first half of the class will be lecture. And then the second half of class will be a check-in. I put them in their own Zoom break rooms. And I just go from room to room chatting about, you know, their grades, their progress, or anything I may notice that um, I need, may need to support them on. Now, see, I have to have you back because <laughs> you said something, put them in their own rooms and then go from chat to chat. See, that's a whole other episode because yeah. that, is, that is a tip and a trick that I need because help me out. <laughs> yeah. Um, putting them in Zoom rooms and going from room to room, I'm not there yet in terms uh -huh. of uh, expertise yet, but I will absolutely have you back because <laughs> I want to hear more about that particular tip and trick um, because that can help 
so many instructors and so many professors just not feel overwhelmed. And if you can get you know, five, six, seven students and kind of go from room to room. Yep. If you could do that, that would be like excellent. So I am amped to hear yeah. you talk about yeah. that. And I'm super amped to hear like, okay, this does exist. And I and have someone works. that could share that. Yeah, and it works. And it, it works. And I don't take attendance until the end of class. So it kind of forces them to stay around <laughs> when I do that one-on-one um, time with them. But I was inspired to do that for my remote classes based on my check-ins that I started with my fully online classes. Okay. Um, and it, it's, it's really helping me feel more connected to them because I'm just that type of professor like building community is important yes it is to know that I'm in this with you Um, I'm here to support your learning and there are no excuses that are good enough um, for you to just not be and show up in my classes so that's right that's my (laughs) tip and trick um, for today (laughs) I love that thank you so much Dr. Walden I really appreciate you coming on I appreciate you giving us your tip and trick I hope that I have more professors please spread the word I so want to build just this connection of help because all of us are online now and there are so many of us that just need the help And if we can go and hear a five minute, 10 minute podcast where we can get tips and tricks from other professors that are doing Mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. then why not? Why not help each other? So thank you so much. I look forward to uh, talking to you again, especially about that room to room, because, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you back and be like, okay, so explain that room to room. (laughs) But thank you so much for being on the episode. And I look forward to talking to you again. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.